quant for competitive exams we shall be solving another question today the question says that two small squares are chosen at random at an 8 by 8 chess board now there is a chess board out of there we are choosing any two smallest squares what is the probability that they have exactly one vertex in common here are the four options given to you let's begin the answer first of all we are choosing the four corner squares when we talk about the corner squares that means we are choosing one this two three and four right they have each only one square with whom they have one common vertex you can clearly see that this square is having one square which has common vertex with it there is no other possibility that this square will share a common vertex with any square other than this so every square is having one square which with which it is sharing the common vertex so four squares they have only one common square to share the vertex so we have 4 multiplied by 1 that is 4 now we are choosing border squares and they have two squares see first of all what will be the border square see this is already chosen in the previous slide these last ones they are already gone now we will be choosing this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 6 on each side 6 here 6 there 6 here and 6 here so this comes out to be 6 multiplied by 4 24 border squares now if we consider this one square it is sharing the vertex with two other squares so every border squares will share with two squares 24 border squares they will give you 24 into t uh, to 48 squares next now we have already chosen these last ones in the first slide okay four are already gone and then these border squares are already gone in the second slide so what are we left with the remaining the square so this is also gone and these these ones have already gone so we are left with the remaining 36 squares okay now supposingly i choose this square this square i'm choosing now you can clearly see that it shares the common vertex with 4 1 2 3 and 4 so every each of this 36 squares this one it will be sharing the vertex with 1 2 3 4 uh, squares with which it shares the vertex so 36 squares multiplied by 4 squares each will give you 144 next favorable events 4 plus 48 plus 144 these three we calculated in the previous slides the total comes out to be 196 total number of events are 64 c2 okay so this will give you 2016 so what will be the probability it will be 196 divided by 2016 the answer is 7 upon 72 